So basically we're leaving Auckland, um, we'll be heading south into the Southern Ocean uh, through a cyclone. Uh, so that's the first, the first obstacle we'll be deciding whether to go through it or around it if we deem it to be too dangerous to sail through. Um, and then we have the ice gates uh, of which they might move, it depends on the latest information that the race organisation are going to get. So we won't be able to sail further south than 55 or 56 degrees south. Uh, so then it's through the roaring 40s and the furious 50s, screaming 60s uh, to Cape Horn, um, which is our magnificent landmark and the thing that, well, the point that all of us are dreaming about and um, it's pretty special around in Cape Horn. We join a group of sailors that, that have done that once we do that. Um, and then after Cape Horn, it's almost like that's the, the exit of, of the Helen Fury of the Southern Ocean. It sort of marks the door and you get through there and you think, okay, Cape Horn, that's good, the door's shut, we've escaped. But uh, um, that first bit up towards the Falkland Islands can be pretty heinous as well. So um, we're still in the Southern Ocean as we head up towards the Falkland Islands, um, leaving those to port or starboard, we don't know, so that's an obstacle to pass. And, and then we finally get back into warmer waters and um, heading up the coast of Brazil to Itajai. And, and that's when we'll have some quite changeable conditions. There's something called the South Atlantic Convergence Zone, which we have bad memories from leg one as we got stuck under a cloud there. Um, so yeah, it's, it could be quite changeable conditions and, and pretty fickle for that, uh, I guess, the last couple of hundred miles into Itajai.